some people say don't put like colors that can push you to act. So green and red tend to be kind of emotionally based. So you tend to maybe act too fast when it's red or act too fast when it's green. Good morning traders, welcome back to Montreal. Today I wanna to show you something very useful, which is how to set up your charts in TradingView, exactly the way I do it, and kind of what things you can modify and tweak to make it better for you. I think TradingView is still the best platform out there to be able to look at the chart, place trades if you can. So we'll look at that, and I'll share with you six steps that you can go through to customize it for you. So let's jump right into it. So warm welcome into TradingView. As I said, it's something I use on a daily basis, and I kind of pushed away the traditional trading platform a while back to focus on only this. And I love the fact that you can now take trades with different brokers that are available on TradingView. So here I have a window, but you could select other brokers. And basically I would recommend if you can open the account with one of those brokers, this is when you want to do paper trading. So on TradingView, you could, you could back this or trade live if you want. That's fine. But there are other options here that you can have an account with. And if you can, I think it's a plus to have. I think it's a good thing to be able to place trades right on the platform. But if you can't, then it's still fine. You can still use the tool to analyze the charts and pretty much do whatever you have to do before you take a trade and even after. So we'll jump into that. I want to show you some cool tricks today and hopefully you can learn something useful. Even if you've been using this for a very long time, there's a lot of things to be learned and to master over time. I still learn new things about the platform now. So we'll go from the start and I'm just going to pick a simple chart that I have over here. I could even take a blank chart. We'll just do that. So blank chart of just CAD, just because I'm in Canada and I'll go with the broker I never used. So it's kind of clean. Let's go with that one. Okay, perfect. First thing I recommend you do is that you pick the color of the chart that you prefer the most. Now you will see for me, I kind of over time got used to color and I found that I seriously the best with that color. Okay, it's kind of a weird thing, but I really see myself taking the best trades and not missing setup with that black and white color because that's why I have it here. But then you could choose a different color you want. So some people like the black one. You just go into settings and from there you can choose here a theme either light or dark. Okay, dark is going to mean that you're going to have a dark background and some colored candlesticks. It could be fun. And light is just going to mean that you have a light background. Okay, and then I kind of choose and change the colors based on that over here. So based on these uh, color here, you can change and put whatever color you want to have. Some people say don't put like colors that can push you to act. So green and red tend to be kind of emotionally based. So you tend to maybe act too fast when it's red or act too fast when it's green. And that could be something you look into. But for me, I found out black and white to be kind of a good mix and still easy to spot, but not too like in your face and stuff. So I just go with black and white. I think I did the template with that and I'll just do okay. And that should be good. Okay. So we're done here. Then the second thing is I would prefer for you to have your set up of chart to look at on one screen because it's kind of messy if you want to go to different time frame. You could still do it. Training you has it pretty easy. We can just click a button and change time frame on the same chart. Most platforms have that anyway. But if you can have everything on the same chart, that's even better. Okay, so the way you do this is you can change here the layout that you have on your chart. There's a bunch of options. Keep in mind that the most advanced, like with the left charts one, would require you to pay a membership on TradingView which is of varying prices. I have the pro plus version of training view and that allows me, I think up to four charts on the screen. Exactly. But beyond that, it can have all of them. Okay. So that's it for what you can do with this. Now, if you only have the basic version, I think that only allows you to have one chart. The basic version is free. You could do it with one chart, but keep in mind when you get to a point where you are able to make a, a lot of money from trading, then you might kind of switch to multiple charts. Okay. If that's something that makes sense for you, if you only trade one, one time frame, forget that it's not useful. You want to use it. So only go with the charts you need and don't open too many charts. For me at the beginning, I preferred one chart. I kind of move over the time to multiple charts on the same screen. Okay. And I kind of want to show you a cool trick, which is the fact that even if you were to have one chart on your screen and you want to have multiple, Okay. You can always open multiple charts. So you will basically open a new tab or a new uh, window on your computer and that window would have a new chart. Okay. They will, they will not like sync together, but you will still have two charts on the same, 
on on the same computer, which is still a good thing. Okay, so I'll go here, open here my new chart, and I'll have to change it manually, of course. But if you want to look at multiple things, you can still have two charts on your computer. Okay, so it's still possible, and you would still you simply go on your chart that you want to have over here while it loads, and you can probably even put them on the same screen if you want. Okay, so make yourself a nice desktop with two charts. It's possible. That's that's feasible. Okay, without paying the advanced version if you want. So that's a cool trick I found. Next, what I recommend you do is that you add the indicators you need. Okay, so there's a bunch of them you could use. I use a couple of them. I can share them with you if you want. I use the Bonjour band, which you do basically by switching here over the indicators and strategies box. And that allows you to search for any indicator you want to have on your chart. You just click it. And it's going to be a new chart. Okay, right away. And then if you want to modify it, just go here on the format button and you can just change whatever you want to change. Okay. So that's a pretty simple thing to do. And I prefer this to other platform. I think the indicators are just nicer sometimes. And one thing I like, which you can't do on most platform is you can just scroll here on the chart and move it however you want. So you can have it smaller, bigger, whatever you want to have just by kind of scrolling through the chart and adjusting with your, your mouse, which you can't do on most platform. Okay. So I love this. You might love this or not. It took me some time to get used to it. But I really like that you can like just go in time anywhere and zoom in, zoom out, however you like, okay, from the mouse. So that's a pretty good thing. So I use basically the Bonjour band. And the other indicator I use is one called Pivot High Low, okay, which I use on my bigger time frame to look at the highs and the lows. Okay, so we have it over here. I use this only on the higher time frame. And basically you would search for Pivot High Low. And that's going to put on your chart a box like this with the price and showing you, showing you the highs and the lows. I use 1010, that's just a cool trick I found. It makes it easier, I feel, to identify the zones. And if you wanna draw a trend line, you will see the highs and the lows easier with that. Okay, so kind of a cool trick here. But whatever indicator you have on your chart, put them there. If you wanna hide them at any point, just click the hide button here. And I show them again, you can just click that and it's gonna show on your chart. Okay, so pretty simple, pretty handy which you can't really do on most platform, I believe. You would have to remove the indicator and then add it back later if you want, okay? So that's a really good thing here. Next, I would suggest to create a chart template, which is gonna be useful if you wanna kind of go back between things and come back to them. And I'm not totally sure how, if you can do this on the free version, but with the pro version, you can do it. So here I have a template saved as default. They call them, I think, layout over here. And basically you will be able to create a new layout. You would of course put it at, as auto save so that when you draw lines, they're gonna stay there whatever computer or device you're using to log in later. And everything would be saved right there. Okay, so I kind of like this. And then you would you will be able to create a new one, save a new one, make a copy if you want. And that's good if you have multiple strategies with different indicators. You never wanna have to modify everything all the time. You wanna have them on your chart, change the template, load your new layout which I'm gonna have a few here. This goes back to 2016, so we can load this if you, if you want. And we'll have a different layout on this chart with different indicators and tools I was using back then, apparently, okay? So that is a cool trick, cool hack to go faster. The next thing I wanna talk about is your watch list. This is for me major because every week I go through the same pairs. There are two good things in watch list. The first one is watches by itself, where you see all the pairs that you might follow. And the other one is a cool feature they added recently, which is this flag over here, where you can flag a pair. If you have multiple strategies with many pairs that you look at, you can flag them in different colors for whatever strategies that you want to trade them on. So that is, in my opinion, a very, very cool feature. So every week I go through all the pairs and you should put the pairs here that you've backtested before, have only them, not anything else. And I believe you can still have multiple watches if you want. So it watches for Forex, it watch this for Red List. That's pretty new. I didn't notice that before. To be focused on what you are supposed to trade or what you could trade or what you've done your analysis on in the weekend. And so there's a lot of things you can do here. Okay, a lot of different things you can look at. And I suggest you put the pairs there, as I said, that you backtested. The ones you know have a positive expectancy for you with your strategy. And then just go through those and it's going to be easy to trade them. And keep them here, don't remove them from your watch list because you can always go back later and filter them by here the flag. That's a really cool feature. 
And if you want to look at the pairs I have, you can look at them. Those are the ones I personally trade, but it's going to be different. I feel for every style, every trader. So you might want to kind of go your own way and apply what you know is going to work. Okay. And if you don't know which pairs to put here, you should probably do more backtesting and understand more what you trade. Okay. But that's a really cool feature. Now the sixth thing we'll look at is when it comes to picking your favorite tool and adding them as favorite tools in trading view. This thing over here I have, this is my bar of favorite tools because I could go here and pick the tool I want. Okay. And click this and pick the one I want to use now. So the curve, but that's just taking time. Okay. If I use the curve all the time, I can just go here on the side and I can just click the star over here at favorite. And it's going to show up over here. Okay. So much faster to put anything on your chart. Now you would just click over here and pick the curve get from that list. And so that's a cool feature. So the one I use all the time, I can show you, this is the brush, which I love to use to draw on my charts. Super useful. Here I have this where I use this mostly to, to identify ranges. So whenever price is going to range, I'll put this at the top of the range. Okay. I'll draw it to the bottom of the range and that's going to signify for me a range. And I wait of course for a break of the range. Okay. And so that's, that's for me. And then I have this line, which I use all the time for my support and resistance areas that works well. You could even modify the style if you want. Okay. Visibility, whatever you could put alerts in these, they are super useful. And then the other thing I look for is the trend line, which I don't really use that much, but if you are a fan of trend lines, then use it. Okay. It's, it's there. Then this is for my zones. So whenever I have a zone, I'll put a box around the zone to make it more visible and know where kind of how far I can go on that zone to trade. And also pretty much the one I use in arrow. If I want to put an arrow somewhere to point something at a student or something of the sort. And that's pretty much what I do. So those are the things I use all the time. They are super useful. You can use whichever you want to use. Oh, and the other thing is this one over here, where this is for your long and short positions. You can put this in your chart whenever you enter a trade and show where your stop loss is and when your exit is. And that's really good when you want to track this in your training journal later. A quick trick, and I'll put a video below on how to use the training journal with training view. Basically what I do is I export the chart over here with the camera button and I would copy this image over here. I'll put it in my training journal on a different platform to keep track of the charts. And I really love this template. Easy to use, simple to do. And that's why I do it all the time. Okay. So good thing to use. The other thing I'll put a video below is on alerts because alerts are important. You can use them here. They are pretty advanced, not as advanced as our trading assistant and the thing I use for alerts, but they can still be useful to put on your charts and to get alerts by email if you want. Okay. So that's useful. I'll put a video below on that. That explains how to do it. And that is it guys. I think that's a pretty good overview. If there are any features on trading view you like, Comment below with them. I don't want to know for sure, because as I said, I don't know everything about the platform yet. There's a lot I can learn. I think even after three years of using it, but this is what I've been seeing so far. So comment below with your thoughts as always. Here are a few comments in the past video. I appreciate you guys always for leaving in comments. Subscribe if it's not done yet. And I'll catch you back here for another video tomorrow. Ciao.